Jerry, Another of Memphis's curses. I will speak to the priests he mentioned in his notes. Aya's nose is finer than mine. She could uncover the origin of this smell in a moment. Have a seat. <laughs> yeah, then. Please have a seat. Man want. Magi, come and sit with me. Would you accept me as a traveling companion? I will take a new title. How about Tutmose the Fearsome? I travel alone. Uh, of course. Have you heard about the palace? Crocodiles swarm its halls. Terrible. So many deaths. I am hired to slaughter the beasts, but someone is pouring blood into the water to frenzy them. And you want my help? Oh, yes, yes. You will shrug off a crocodile's jaws as most men would a gnat's. Kill crocodiles near the palace and I will award you half my fee. What do you say, Magi? I am good at killing crocodiles. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Medjai the mighty, Medjai the majestic, Medjai the... Hmm... Never mind. There is a hidden cave near the city's northern limit. Meet me there tonight. What? Cave rhymes with brave. Miss that one. Uh. 
some awesome soup. Crocodile God himself would cause less chaos. They are far more aggressive than usual. Dead crocodile should be high enough to please Tut Mose. Mile. Crocodile. Ah. Oh no. He's rubbing off on me.
position. Get it. <laughs> Here if we innocent. Up in the head, the many in the suit of the Struck dumb with fear by what I see before me. The palace grounds are choked with Sobek's dead. Did you see in the pool human body parts used to lure the crocodiles? Oh, what horror! But why? Oh, who knows why evil doers do evil? I came just in time to see two people loading bodies onto boats and riding away. I will put a stop to this mischief. Of course you will. And as your loyal companion, I will point you toward the mischief makers. One went toward the palace and the other was headed for the mummification temple. Here is half my pay, as promised. I will meet you back at my boat.
Ben. for the crocodile attacks. Children will be more peaceful now. Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Hmm. She has found a ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue faience? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. I hope you will not have too much trouble finding these items. Get the ritual item first, and then hunt down the birds. By the gods, are you mad? Not you. Swear. An abandoned tomb. 
maidservant said there was a shop here. Strange place for a shop. A Magi? How? I have not seen your kind in some time, Magi. We are a rare breed. As are merchants who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. They do not seem to appreciate variety. My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course. I'll leave you to browse. Excuse me, but I have some business to attend to. I'll be back soon. A thing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Ah, she is hiding something. Seeking magical runes? Statuettes of uncommon value? An inventory. I should keep looking around. And in the second chamber lie the worldly goods of Horapolo and Shesh, to protect them and provide them sustenance. And the message is incomplete. I wonder what the rest of it says. not want me to see this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. A fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased.
I will take a few feathers for Tamhotep's ritual. Seven. The maid servant said they want its tongue. That is all the items. all the items. I found what you need, Tamhotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the Pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. Then let us ride to the Pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. Where is 
Whoa. This is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My... Is that also why we travel off the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nebet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. Oh, Mara, we have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices can... Good idea. Hey, wait! Get the bastard! Die, man! Hey. Wait a minute! Alarm! Over here! You should be the car! Over there! Here. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. Patar's blessing on you. morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me. For I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. Whoa. 